Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have got the Exceed RC 150 scale rock crawler back out. And this time, you may notice there's something a little bit different about this. So, this is a good example of why you do not let me anywhere near a 3D printer. So after filming the original running video of the rock crawler, I got home. And as I was unpacking my camera gear, I unpacked my camera gimbal. And I thought, wait a second, the gimbal is actually smaller than the crawler itself. So half an hour later on 3D modeling software, I created a new skid plate to hold the uh, camera gimbal in. About 24 hours later, I had a fully 3D modeled skid plate for it which slots the gimbal right in perfectly. So you may be wondering, does this actually work? Well, kind of. Normal RC mounted camera gimbals end up having a little wire mesh dampening system on it, which to be honest, that was gonna be a bit too complicated for this. So uh, what I ended up doing is actually doing a lot more in pro post-processing when editing. So you've got the gimbal will take out most of the movement anyways. So from so from being moved around the gimbal takes most most that movement. But it's normally the minute movement so of play a clip now unstabilized. It's all that minute movement which is the issue. But thankfully, sometimes uh, Premiere Pro actually comes in handy with a little function called Warp Stabilizer. So this is the same clip with Warp Stabilizer added. I can't fucking click. So you can see the comparable differences between the two. The only issue is sometimes warp stabilizer gets a little bit funky whenever you add it onto a clip. And I will also apologize, this is a really old lens. This is my old camera setup because I tried with the camera I'm filming on right now, my Sony A7, but it was a little bit too, too heavy. As in, this setup currently is just about pushing the limits because the preload on the shock is wound all the way down and sometimes when you go around the corner it will lean. It'll do a funky little lean on it. But, again, this was a fuck around find out if it works kind of, kind of little thing. So I apologise if the video footage is coming out and this camera is a bit shit because of the lens combo. This is like literally the lowest, lowest zoom lens I've got. So it's a 20mm lens, but pairing that to a crop sensor compared to the full frame sensor on the Sony, this is probably equivalent to about a 40mm lens. So. I say enough talking now and show you a complication of all the running video footage.
Okay, so on my phone I can actually control what the gimbal is doing. I can actually set up for it to do tracking. So, if I clear the original, the thing is I actually now have to now do it on the joystick, on the uh, gimbal itself, is if I if I set it and give it some endpoints, so say start in the middle, but I want you to be panning up, I can set that as a endpoint, and by the end, I want you in the middle again, and I set that as its second endpoint give that a duration of uh, 11 seconds what that means I can do is I can set it up so if I hit record on the Canon now I'll turn it on first of all Tell it to start. Oh. Right. So I can tell it to preview it. But that's just a quicker version of what it's actually going to do. So if I start walking now, I did notice it won't. It won't go in a straight line on that attempt. But I'll give it another shot. Alright, start again. So with this kind of functionality, it means I don't actually have to be controlling it. It can sort of follow a predetermined path on how it pans and or how it moves. The thing is, you've just got to get it to match the speed while driving and the speed of the camera so it's a lot easier if you're looking at the car to sort of match the speed and match what the camera is actually seeing this is just a little extra run to show actually how fast it can get up to so that is flat out and this is the camera lean I was talking about and that's not actually as worse for steering because this truck is set up for all-wheel steer like in the previous video so I can lift a wheel this is the reason why I am not running my Sony camera on it I'm just running my Canon 700D.